Bye folks, another video as usual. Start with, thought I'd try this. Seen it a lot with water, stuff like that. And funny enough, it's simple, something probably everybody's done, maybe you've done it. And uh, um, I've never tried it. So, I thought I'd try it. You'll see what I mean in a minute. I've got this glass here, <coughs> and you know that uh, you put water or liquid in a glass, put some card on top, whatever, turn it over, and it holds the liquid in, and then when you slide the card out, <laughs> the liquid stays there. So, this is either going to work or I'm going to get flipping wet. I'm going to give it a go. So here's a glass and I put a little bit in there. I'm going to put flipping lot. I'm going to get flipping drenched. I put that on top and uh, I'm going to slide it off to see what flipping happens. Right, so here we go. So theoretically, the liquid should stay in the glass. It's all, all to do with tension of liquid or something or the other. Let's have a look. Yay! There you go. So, that's not wine actually, because if I wine, I have a flipping thimble full of wine and got a bloody murky head. That's uh, it's like cola and uh, Jack Daniels that you get in a can. And you see there it's staying pretty flipping stable. Wonder if you can shake it about a bit. Have a look. Yeah, works pretty well. Uh, it's just a flippy joke, really. You know me and my bloody weird things. Got this today. Upside down glass. <laughs> so there you go. It's in there, and you drink it out of here. <laughs> and I don't know how that bloody will work, so I'm going to give it a go, and we'll we'll see. So. This is either going to work well, or you're going to see a bloody bloke with a wet beard. So that's, I'm dreading this. It sort of reminds me a bit, uh, I don't know if any of you have ever seen them, the Yard of Ale, big bulb on the bottom of this glass nozzle thing with a bit of a spout at the end. And when you start drinking it, it gets faster and faster. I don't like to bloody think what this will do, but here goes. Wish me luck. Well, it works. You get the end of your bloody nose wet because by the time the glass has gone up, your nose is going into bloody. But I did get a drink. Um, I'd say this is pretty good. If you don't want to get you know, a go and drink and don't want to get drunk, use one of these because it'll take you freaking ages to get it out there. But there you go. That's where you put your wine or whatever in. And there's your glass. <coughs> so I thought I'd just show you that. Bit of fun in it. <coughs> Just one or two bits a day. So one or two bits I want to show you and then just a little bit I want to have a chat about. Yeah, I know you like the bits I show you and then the bloody chat bit. You say, oh, it's not going to freaking chat again, is it? Tough. Uh, new record I bought today. Susie and the Banshees. An original... 1982 uh, three-track 
single. It's got Slow Drive, Obsession 2 and Cannibal Roses. And I haven't actually listened to this one yet. And I don't know how it is, but at the top it had the price and it said scarce. So it's probably not that easy to get hold of. I do not know, but a 1982 12 inch three track single. Yes. I've got, I put some more away today. Um, I'll probably be getting, I'll either get the double Bauhaus on Friday or I'll maybe get a couple of the others, but I've put one or two away. One or two bands I'd never heard before. Um, let's try and bloody remember them. Um, there was one Jules something J O O L Z something I can't remember. Uh, da Daisy Chainsaw I think Daisy Chainsaw. The both uh, a little bit punky. Um, both start off very especially uh, the, the Jules one I thought oh this this is going to be a bit freaking boy then all of a sudden it kicks in it's all beaty and uh, really is beaty you want you wouldn't flip in you wouldn't gather the flipping uh, spiders webs in with it you'd have to be a bit bloody faster than that but uh, excellent to listen to uh, shop put some on for me to have a listen to flipping excellent um if you're doing something around the house and you put that on you're gonna be spurred on a little bit uh which is what what you want sometimes you don't always want to feel like oh, bella lugos is dead again you know sometimes you want something a little bit kick you in the ass sort of thing so yeah that the other bit I want to show you, I, I show you bits how I adapt things. This was one. Um, bought this quite a while back. Uh, it's electric. It had the uh, yeah, there's a little sort of groovy bit in the glass there. This looks like bloody upside down ashtray and where, where you put a cigarette the wire come through but the bulb wire came through here it came out there so yeah even this was created even if it was uh, by a company bloody upside down ashtray um, I liked it I like the style of it I love this I love this I love the, the globe on top so I bought it and I ripped all the electric out. Um, could have kept the electric in. Had a low wattage bulb, it would have looked pretty Victorian. But I want to turn it like most of the things I do, I want to turn it into a um, candle. Uh, this goes on, you, you, you know, some of the things with shades. You, you pull two wires up, push the shade on, and then the wires open up and hold that on there. Well, that's what that does. I'm not gonna put this on because this is a candle holder with a cork, and that goes into any bottle you want. Um, but if you, if you buy little old candle holders, you get some like that with just a little dish, whatever. And I've had some in the past where you just unscrew that. That's fine. And that'd be ideal. Some you might have to use your initiative to take this bit off. But something like that from a cheap candlestick or whatever is going to go into there. If I don't break it first. It's going to go into there and uh, I can just push a little candle into it. Um, 
that would be really nice. And then to goff it up a little bit, uh, me and my acrylic paints, I've got a thing about acrylic. I did that. And I don't know if you can see, there's little bats flying around. So all you got to do, if, you, if you're a bloody good artist, you don't need me to tell you, you can just do it. If you're not that great, um, look at some pictures on the internet or wherever of little black bats and just copy them onto there. But there you go, that's my little bat lamp. So, yeah, get these sort of things in charity shops, uh, pretty cheap. People don't want many more electric whatever keep keep it electric adapt it to candle whatever you want keep this as it was or adapt it whatever you want it's up to you some little metal bats or anything you could actually stick on to there it wouldn't make a lot of difference so yeah that's the <coughs> That's a bit, so I won't need to show you anyway. Now, for the bit I wanted to talk about. Um, over a long period of time, you've probably seen it yourself. Uh, you get people talking about their videos and what they do on YouTube and blah, blah, blah. And a lot will say, uh, I, I don't know what it's called, but you can, you can become a patron of someone. Don't worry, I'm not asking anyone to be a patron, so don't go, oh, I'm off. <coughs> but yeah, you can become a patron of somebody and you give a small amount or if you've got the money, you can give a million dollars or a million pound a month if you want. It's up to you, I suppose. Um, but I went to look at that and I'm not decrying anybody for doing it, so it, it's not about that. What I'm talking about is clinical or raw. Um, what do you think is is best? Um, like, so I do my videos. Would they be better if they were clinical? Um, are they better raw? Are they? Better because I just sit here and bloody burble my flipping socks off and talk to you like I would do if you was the other side of the room. Um, or would it be better if I had a couple of cameras and I was going, Hi, how are you today? Yes, it is very sunny outside, but then again, um, <laughs> you could do that. Um, or is it better just to turn the bloody camera on and spill? Um, I don't even edit. Um, I've had the odd video where I've, I've had so many bloody mistakes, I've just started again. I should do a bloody outtake, shouldn't I? Um, but generally, I'll just turn it on. I know what I want to say, I know what I want to do, and I'll do it. Uh, that isn't going to cost me any money to do that. So I, I don't quite understand that side of the things. I just wondered what people thought. Um, I think most videos I ever watch from people seem to be off the cuff, raw video. Even from people that, uh, so I, I need money to produce these videos and whatever just seem to sit there and talk to you, uh, so I, I don't know how it works, but yeah, it's, this is just a little thing to say, what do you think, yeah, you might leave a, an answer as to what you think you might not, um, for me, I shall just plod on, maybe one day I'll, I'll do a clinical one with a, an old F sort of little sections of speech worked out and I'll look that way for that bit and I'll look into camera too 
to gun the three. <laughs> it was set as, but if I try anything like that, I'm bad. Um, in the past, I've had people say to me, because I, I have got a terrible accent, some people say it in my app, um, and I've had people say, bloody hell, you, you, you like Johnny One Note. I used to call myself Johnny One Note. Where I come from, um, the accent is very nasally. Uh, it's very uh, monologue or whatever it's called. I tend to take one deep breath and uh, half the video comes out. <laughs> so I'm not very good at what they call um, emphasis. That's what they say. Put some emphasis in when you talk, something like that, I suppose. And, and I'm not talking about on here, I'm just talking about talking to someone at home or whatever. Why don't you put some emphasis in? So yeah, all right. So I think, bugger me, maybe I should do that. So I'll put emphasis, <laughs> I'll put it in. <laughs> it's all in the wrong bloody place. <laughs> my, my bloody voice is going up and down. How are you? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? <laughs> don't ask me to flip in do videos with emphasis or whatever because you'll just freaking crack up and I'll feel like it well a worse dick than I do <laughs> so uh, yeah I suppose it, in a sense my videos are, are just warts and all and, and everything and the funny thing is I'm talking to you I, I don't recognize an accent you're probably going what the figure devil's he talking about because I do cut I cut words short I don't pronounce letters it's just where I come from um, and you can have you can have one accent here you can be uh, four miles down the road and the accent's different and it can be totally bloody different I lived in one place where the talk like me I went about four four miles down the road and they were sort of they would talk something like I, I rode my, I rode my bike down the dike um, which is very yokely and that was within four miles anyway we digress <laughs> it was just a little bit of a, a chat on clinical or raw um, so you got a view on that um, if you want it clinical bloody crap because I can't do it I <laughs> um, hope you enjoyed this it was a bit of fun um, it was in a shop today in a charity shop in its box um, a pound and I said to the woman if, if there's anybody that's going to buy that it's got to be me in it <laughs> said yeah um, so I'm going to go and uh, spend the evening trying to get this out of here. I, you just get a feeling you got to, by the time you get to here, you got to be laying on your freaking back or something. Um, but maybe I'll, <laughs> I'll let you know. Uh, but don't hold hope out. I don't hold a lot of hope out for that. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to have to get a glass and flip it and turn this upside down. Um, but bloody cute, isn't it? I think if you had uh, half a dozen of them and uh, had guests round for dinner and put the, the glasses of wine out, because it'll look pretty neat if it's up to here. Um, that'd be pretty cool. It'd be pretty cool watching them trying to bloody drink it. So there you go, folks. One or two bits. The lamp, if you see an old lamp or something at charity shops, they're not going to be flipping dear, so you can experiment. Have a flipping experiment. Um, experiment the way you want to do it, but experiment, have a bit of fun. Um, 
I'm still enjoying buying the albums. Um, that's about it really. Um, have fun. Do or don't do anything I would do. Clinical, raw, whatever. Enjoy your evening. <laughs> Talk about that, it's a bloody stonky day today. It was really hot, sunny, flipping perfect. I don't know if it's showing up on here. This this goth sort of look is turning flipping brown. There's nothing I can do about it. It's just the way I am. Have fun. <laughs>